robo dogs, robo spiders, creepy bots with unusually real facial expressions, and of course, who could miss out on the Atlas bot, right? Last time we went through a lot of exciting stuff, why don't we take a look through all of it in one episode? 2022 is really sensational, especially in the robotics arena. You and I know that, right? So in today's episode, we'll be going through the latest humanoid robot news in 2022. Hey folks, welcome to Robot Future, where we bring you the newest and best updates from the field of robotics and AI. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. When starting on humanoid robots, you might want to start from the Atlas. Boston Dynamics is very well known for its flashy videos of robots performing amazing feats. Atlas, a humanoid robot developed by Boston Dynamics, is well known for its unparalleled ability to jump over obstacles, do backflips, and dance. The company's robot videos usually go viral, trying to garner millions of views on YouTube and provoking discussions among enthusiasts on social media. The two recently released behind-the-scenes videos of their Atlas robot show it maneuvering, somersaulting, and backflipping, as well as falling over and crushing the ground. Engineers in the company explored the next generation of mobility, perception, and athletic skills by pushing the humanoid robot to its limits. The two Atlas robots completed the complex obstacle course almost flawlessly in the parkour action. You could really notice it in the videos. The progressive algorithms of the Atlas allow it to reason through complex habitats and pathways involving the entire body and sitting in order to plan its next movements. As a result, the bot walks at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. Atlas's 3D printed components provide it with the critical strength to weight ratio required for jumps, hops, and somersaults. Even though the bot is great at these parkour stuff, sadly, Atlas is not meant for wide commercial use. That's alright, let's move on to the next bot. Amica, the name might be familiar to most of you when associated with the title of the creepiest bot out there. In fact, this robot really sends shivers down your spine if you really met her in real life. It's the uncanny valley effect that makes you feel this way. Engineered Arts, a UK-based robotics company, sparked its entire audience last month with a teaser video of its humanoid bot, which had many eerily uncanny expressions and went viral on most social media platforms. The robot really looks as if she was pulled straight out of a sci-fi movie. So you're probably wondering what Amica is capable of. The bot's primary goal is to serve as a service robot and it will take 10 to 20 years for the robot to begin interacting with real humans. Aside from that, Amica is not currently designed to walk or move, instead it can communicate with its arms and hands as well as 17 motors in the face to convey human emotions. The robot is also designed to have gender-neutral facial details and a grey-blue skin complexion. This is most likely to allow those interacting with it to concentrate more on the subject of its speech and machine learning renditions. According to its creators, that is the most advanced human-like robot in existence. Furthermore, Amica's various components can operate independently of one another and its software and hardware can be swapped out in a modular fashion. That's not all there is to Amica. There's also another video of the robot in which she grabs the attention of the intruder who had cut into her personal space. The video clearly showed her being wide awake and even appearing to be offended by the invasion of her privacy. If that sounds strange, check out the video for yourself. According to Engineered Arts, this was the first time a human interacted with the Amica robot and as seen in the video, the robot at first ignored being poked by actually following the finger wherever it went. According to the video's description, the robot was reacting to anything that invaded its personal space, which we all know is a very common human reaction. In this case, a person's fingertip was flitting around like a butterfly. The individual spins their fingertip for a few seconds before pressing it against Amica's nose, causing the robot to scrunch up its face as if irritated. The video is a follow-up to a previous clip in which the robot displayed the most accurate human facial expressions. Now you might be getting an idea of how cool this is. Let's look into another humanoid bot, the THR3. This project was initially introduced by Toyota in 2017. The THR3 is a typical humanoid robot capable of mimicking its human operator's actions, just like in a real-world avatar. Being updated for the Tokyo Olympics, the THR3 has enhanced controls and it can now walk more humanly. Mostly anticipated as a mobility service, in the future, these bots will be able to accomplish surgeries while their operators, human surgeons, will be monitoring them from another part of the world. 
It can also assist caretakers in doing their work remotely or those who need aid to live a more self-sufficient life. That's a great benefit to society, right? In fact, let's take the case of a handicapped person. He or she would require a great deal of help within their household, so this is where the THR3 does its job. This helps the person to be self-reliant and satisfied with himself. Coming to the next one, perhaps this is the most recognizable face of humanoids among people, and that is of Sophia. Sophia is a social humanoid that was developed by Hong Kong-based Hansen Robotics. In this year too, the AI-powered 4-year-old robot is going to resume her role as a robotic ambassador, assisting in expanding research into robotics and human-robot interactions. Nurtured by humans, Sophia can walk, talk, draw, sing, and even show emotions. Let's move on. Why don't we talk about space? Many countries have been working on humanoids for space exploration. Vyomitra, a female humanoid robot from India, was scheduled to launch on an unmanned spaceflight in December of 2021. The robot will conduct microgravity tests to help prepare for future crewed missions. FEDER, which stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, was a Russian remote-controlled humanoid that flew to the International Space Station ISS in 2019. It returned to Earth after performing repairs during a spacewalk. Extreme precision and accuracy are required for these bots, and the same is expected in their development. NASA's Johnson Space Center had worked on a number of humanoid robots, including the Robonaut 2, which spent seven years on the International Space Station and the Valkyrie. Well, it's reasonable to expect future spacefaring humanoids to be designed to withstand the harsh environments of the Moon or Mars. We've gone through numerous robots until now, but have we looked into an educational robot? Then let's take some notes on a teaching bot. SoftBank Robotics Pepper was designed to be a thoughtful emotions reading helper to function as a host, in retail, and even as a nanny. Can you believe that? Now Pepper arrives with an Educational Integrated Development Environment IDE, called Tethys, that was developed to educate students on how to code. Using the software, learners can program the humanoid to move, talk, gesticulate, and exhibit different messages on its screen, all in real time. The firm aims this endeavor to inspire the future generation of engineers and robotics. Mechanical engineers at the Iranian University of Tehran have been toiling over Serrano robots since 2010. Unlike Pepper from SoftBank Robotic, this one is a research-assisting robot. Their latest model, Serrano 4, is an adult-sized humanoid that is reportedly able to face an object detection, language and speech recognition, and generation and can even walk at a speed of 0.7 km per hour. It has 43 degrees of freedom and its helpful hands are able to grip many different shapes. Engineers are planning to use Serena to research bipedal locomotion, AI, and to persuade students to careers in robotics engineering. The bot Serena might not be that exciting when compared to other bots, but isn't it a great advancement in the field of robotics? Just think about it, a bot to help you out with your most complex calculations and data management issues. Well, it sounds really beneficial. With this, we've come towards the end of today's episode. So what do you think of these bots? Well, this isn't the end of the story. More updates will arise about the bots in the coming days, and we here at Robot Future will be delivering the best of the content to you folks. Anyways, drop in your views about these bots in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're a massive fan of robotics and AI. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one.